Okay, so what are these Mediterranean seas? Okay, there are semi enclosed basins. So fairly deep, with water depth of can be up to 4,000 meters. Yeah, like water depth that you find in the open ocean. But the exchange with the Emian Ocean is constrained okay, by the existence of something we call shallow water depth, which is a sill, right, shown here in these sketches, shallower water. And shallower water really means something like less than the 4,000 meters that you have in the deep basin. So we're actually talking about here, the mouse is activated now, we're talking about something like a thousand meters or so. And most, most importantly, the exchange circulation over the sill is driven by density difference. Not winds, nothing else, the density driven, uh, the density difference drives this exchange. Okay, I forgot to mention it's not only a, a vertical constraint but also a horizontal constraint, and we call that a strait. It's a region of a narrow, a channel connection between a, a two uh, oceanic basins. So, okay, there are two different types of Mediterranean seas, and one is called a concentration basin. A concentration basin is here shown on the left side. And the concentration basin is one where you have an excess of evaporation over the supply of fresh water through rivers and rainfall. And as a consequence of that, these regions are hypersaline regions through the convection. So you have the creation of um, deep water, which is uh, heavier, okay, which, is, which has a high density. And this triggers an outflow of this denser water across the sill into the ambient ocean. Okay, an outflow of deeper water. And there is a return flow which actually sucks in ambient water in, in the surface layer. Okay, you have an exchange circulation which consists of an outflow of hypersaline water and an inflow of surface water. And this is how the circulation in these concentration basins of Mediterranean seas look like. On the other hand, in a dilution basin, you have an excess of freshwater input okay, through land runoff and rainfall, and you get an outflow near the surface, and you get a return flow through the bottom layer into that system. And this is what we call a dilution basin. Okay, so the Arctic Ocean is or can be classified as a Mediterranean Sea, but it doesn't fit into either of these categories. Okay, and you'll learn why that is uh, during this lecture. All right. Okay, so let's have a look at the bathymetry 